All right, guys, so we are going to be getting a brand new update coming out to Dragon Ball Legends this upcoming Wednesday for the weekly reset. So let's talk about absolutely everything we can expect, what we're going to get, as well as everything that's currently leaving the game in terms of event and banners. Just to give you guys a full landscape like I do every single Monday here on my channel. And if you guys do want to keep getting updated here 24 7 everything Dragon Ball Legends, including some data mites and leaks tomorrow, make sure you guys simply just like and subscribe and have those notification bell on. But let's not waste any time, guys. We've got quite the bit to cover i'm not gonna lie i haven't been this excited for a very for a very long time in terms of like the character that's coming out which is super 17 so uh very 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 excited i love this super 17's artwork um abilities everything about this character looks really really good okay so let's just quickly talk about a few events that's going to leave five and precise, which is going to be the hyperdimensional co-op versus Shenron. This is leaving, of course, going to get replaced by a brand new one, which we can also expect a brand new unique equipment, probably revolving around Super 17, whether it be uh, GT, Androids, who knows, right? But um, these equipments are usually good and they revolve around pure stats. So very excited for that. Um, I always save my co-op medals for the brand new co-op that's going to come out because of that, because they usually come out with the best equipment or some of the best equipment, right? And we're probably going to get some um, other equipment uh, revolving around, of course, Super 17, um, Androids, and probably some Awakening equipment as well. So I, I love the equipment. The only bad things that right here below, as you guys can see, the equipment upgrade bonanza is actually going to end this week, which is quite the shame because we are going to be getting a brand new raid which I'm going to discuss in just one bit. Now, here down below, uh, we see the new, uh, not the new, excuse me, what am I saying? Um, the Ultra Space Time Rush Zenkai is going to end and of course going to get replaced by a brand new one. Same thing down here with Determine of Power going to get reset uh, by a brand new one as well as down here, the Master Roshi training event is going to end as well. Now, really quick, I just want to talk about um, this Super 17, how he's red. Okay, which is the perfect, first and foremost, if you guys have been following me, I, I've been calling this character to be red for a very long time. You guys can go look at all my other videos. Same thing with this Bola Assist Purple. This would complete a full color wheel uh, for GT, which is good, right? Um, but I'll explain you guys. Actually, you know what? After this video, I'm probably going to record a guide for you guys for this Super 17 in terms of equipment, builds, and teams, and all that good stuff because there's a really, really good build for this character. I'm pretty sure some of you guys are not aware of that I'm going to I'm probably going to record after this, actually. That, that's probably a good idea. So red is the perfect choice, of course, because of UI Goku. And then, of course, we got this Bola and Vegeta Assist, which is a support unit, which is also perfect um, than being a support unit, right? Now, um, take a look at this. Hit me harder. And <laughs> his drilling from his mouth. Absolutely love this. Um, really quick, I also do want to mention something here, um, which I did cover before we get back to the event. Oh, let me pause this. Uh, let me pause that for a quick second. Sorry about that. Um, I just do want to mention something really quick, which is, is um, you know, basically whenever uh, the Super 17, uh, you know, uh, he cover changes. He draws an ultimate card next. Now, this this is broken. This does seem broken, but I want everybody to remember really quick something that there's something called, what's it called? It's called, oh yeah, cover nullification. So I think it's going to be kind of hard to pull this off, but it's still good that he just casually gets an ultimate upon cover changing. So this is really good. Um, and by the way, I think this this trailer that they dropped um, is actually one of the most hyped trailers they've dropped in a very long time, just because of the music, the build up, and all that good stuff. N not not the f not the first half, the second half. As a matter of fact, I just want to show you guys the music. The like um, it's like a it actually feels like a real movie trailer. It's like an Undertaker music that goes really well with the Super 17. So just l let's have a listen. Still not ready. It's like a trailer, like a movie trailer. Seriously? Now be gone. Times ten. Yes, that's it. Right to die. All right, now, before we watch this whole trailer again, I do want to say, um, I do want to go back to where we were before in terms of like the new updates. So we are going to get a brand new raid, okay? And by the way, that trailer absolutely slapped. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and by the way, I don't have a face camera because um, right now I am moving some stuff in the background. So um, I'll bring it back tomorrow. 
Um, but yeah, World Challenge Raid is going to come out on this weekly reset. Of course, we can get Legend Limited Multi Z Power, a brand new PvP message, which is the Super 17. Haven't you learned yet? It only makes me stronger, which is basically his green card, right? Which, by the way, his green card is really, really busted. Just because, <laughs> really busted. Uh, so he absorbs enemies' key blast, whether it be a super key blast, tap shot, or blast uh, attack, right? So any of those works. And what happens is um, he uh, basically um, absorbs the enemy's key attack when using a special art and inflicts all enemies with no switching for three timer counts plus restores own vanish gauge by 100% and reduces enemies to zero. Now, of course, this is going to be limited, obviously, right? Because this is not just going to be an onslaught. Uh, it's probably going to be like a one-time thing for the uh, reduces enemies vanish to zero because anything other than that it would be really, really broken. But um, but yeah, he's going to be pretty passive with that green card as well because of that ability. Um, but yeah, I mean, honestly, the, the rate... Oh, this is a world challenge raid. So I believe this is going to be timed. Hmm. Or not timed until the enemy... Uh, Till the enemy's health goes down but yeah nonetheless we could get some crystals of course some arts boosts and stuff like that some pretty cool stuff right so um also two banners are gonna end guys uh the two banners are gonna end is gonna be ultra janimba and you know it's funny that they brought out this ultra janimba right and everybody thought because including myself uh because we got this ultra janimba which is regen um during a GT campaign, we would probably get a Super Baby 2. Now, there's small speculation, and this is a huge stretch, like a super mega stretch, that we might still be getting an Ultra for this GT campaign, which I don't think is going to be the case. I just don't think so. Uh, for, for, for plenty of reasons, right? Number one, we already have a full color wheel and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I mean, honestly, this Janimba, he's really good. But the way the meta is structured right now with so many green characters, it's it's tough. It's tough for this Janimba, right? You could just easily tank his ultimate with a green character, like a Pycon or Orange Pickle or something like that. Um, also, um, oh yeah, th this banner down there, the uh, World Tournament uh, uh, Pickle Jr. and uh, Goku banner is going to end. Nobody cares about that, near, uh, near do I. Now, I do want to say this, that this banner here, the filler characters already absolutely slaps. They just need one missing piece to have all of Thanos, you know, stones right so we got gamma one and two because he's androids torment power 17 because he's androids and by the way funny fact that this android 17 came out last january for 2023 so both january's we got two um you know lf 17s which is pretty funny right it'd be funny if they keep up that trend next january for 2025 they, they bring out another 17 but anyways um they're missing one key piece here which is going to be perfect cell if they bring out perfect cell right if, if they bring out i still do think that for GT, we're going to get Super Saiyan 4, Zankai, Gogeta in this as a uh, filler LF. But if they do put LF Perfect Cell on this banner, I will be going all out on this banner. This banner would hold so much value. The 17 already looks phenomenal. He's going to be good for a powerful opponent, Androids, as well as GT. Uh, of course, Gamma 1 and 2 is still really good. TOP 17 does this thing. Of course, no explanation needed there. But we do need a purple 17 in this banner. I hope to God he's in this banner, man. That's the character I really want the most as a filler left for not only Android's powerful opponent, but as well as region, right? Uh, but yeah, guys, uh, comment down below. Are you going to be summoning for this banner? It's called Creeping Hill Spawn. Very cool. Very cool name fitting for this banner as well. So... But that's pretty much going to wrap it up, guys. If you did enjoy the video, as always, make sure you guys simply just like and subscribe. And I'll definitely catch you guys once again on the next one. Have a good one. Peace.